Hey, friend. I I'm new in town. Supposed to be meeting a man called Angelo Bronte. Any idea where I might find him? Not in here, that's for sure. If he wants to drink anywhere, it would be the, the Bastille Saloon opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Appreciate it. Just watch yourself. He's got quite the reputation. You all right, girl? Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. <laughs> oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in on. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, right, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look. I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Oh, and friend, 
You be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving... Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. You got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine. Steeples. Hey, hey, you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. Stop, shit. Fred? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> now, come on. You new in town, mister? 
Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. robbed who by bunch of children <laughs> i won't inquire anymore but i found mr bronte seems to be some italian mr big in town everybody knows him but nobody wants to talk about him apparently he lives in a big house on flavian street opposite the park huh. good work so what now we go pay him a visit i'll get john you meet us there Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Morning. Howdy, fellas. Good morning. This day's as lovely as a young bride. Got me sweating buckets. Claire, I need to pass. Morning, sir. Buy me a drink, mon ami, huh? Sure, what you want? Brandy! Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good, then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm? 
Asshole. Mm, that too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to the salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Eh? You know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. If no one else will buy me a drink, I will go. bother you for a minute of your time? All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Won't you support our veterans and their families? Think of what they sacrificed for everybody. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this? You're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Yeah. 
Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is a very steep woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. <laughs> John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Okay, girl. All right, let's go. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, 
We found Bronte. We got in there. Touch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just... Get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. What are you doing? This way. All right, let's see what's going on in here. I'm gonna check over here. Stay quiet, we don't wanna spook them. How they expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground? Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. Okay, I'll lead you watch behind me. What was that? Hold on. Hey there, boy. Let's keep looking. to drink. Your friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home.
can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time Tusk can go, and I'll have a drink. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. someplace okay but we'll need to be quick we can't go back to Bronte empty-handed let's have a look where they first shot at us from <sighs> robbing grave robbers we've hit the big time come on let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it! Come on. Let's go around the side. Get back to Dutch. Ah, you good girl? Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. All right, let's get this done. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. Let's go get Jack. 
Well, you took your time. Jack, where's your host? Tom. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Looking? Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. He's back, all right. Hey, make some room for John there. Hey, how about a song? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Javier, <laughs> play us away. Woo! <laughs> 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 
De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Mr. Bell, es el lunar que had fun robbing graves, I hear. Yes, more your stuff. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Well, I should get back to it. All right, baby. Loitering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give y'all your moment. Wow, well, very kind. Tahiti, dear boy, Tahiti. If you say so, <laughs> mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Getting involved, Bill? Just getting my drink on first. Okay. <laughs> no. Thank you, John. You okay, Sadie? I'm sorry if I was sure. Well, you boys did good. I was just worried. Well, we got lucky this time. It's okay. Eat that all up now, Dad. Okay. Well, okay, let's Mama. talk more later. Okay then. Get some drinks down, you. Live a little. I might have a couple. This is a party. Come on. All right, all right. Boring bastard. For a chicken. Yes. So good to have you back. Only some folks thought Thanks, it was Uncle unfair. Arthur. And to see a and smile on your mama's face again. They went to lynch me. But, uh, good to I see you smiling me. again, Abigail. Thank you again. Truly. Ah, uh, I miss that little rascal. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, then. Look after that kid. Oh, I will. He's a brave boy. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Yep. Come on. Let's leave him to play a minute. Welcome home, little Jack. I gotta get some... Oh, yeah, plays good, don't he? He sure does. Well, let's have a good night. We deserve one. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sounds good. You ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Certainly. You're not joining in? 
Not really in the mood. Okay. Okay, I'll catch you later then. I need to be alone. Just like a regular evening for you, Uncle. Well, I try to keep some fun in my life, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's how you stay young. Is that right? Maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep it. There he is. We all stay together. You know, in my room. You mean like a normal family? <laughs> Look around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. Right about that.